Good morning, people. Thank you for inviting me. I would like to thank the organising committee. It's a great uh, joy for me being with you. In the next few minutes, I shall try to explain the necessity of the measurements we make in real time and of the smart sensors that we use to upgrade production at all levels. Necessity derives quite often from the size and perplexity. And I believe that Coca-Cola Hellenic is a typical example of the case where a company uh, that is active in three continents, 29 countries, more than 64 factories, that uh, serve more than six hundred million consumers on a daily basis. How do we do that? We need very good coordination because all factories need to produce uh, uh, in by respecting the same environmental indicators and the sustainability indices. So this would not be possible if we stuck with uh, the traditional methods of analysis of data. Necessity becomes understood if we take a look at things through the eyes of uh, the director of a plant, of a factory. So an average factory of Coca-Cola has uh, four to 10 production lines, approximately producing 1,000 to 1,600 1, bottles per minute. So it goes so fast you can't easily see them on the conveyor belt and it's not just that because a factory can produce more than 70 different products for each product the uh, procedure to follow differs the raw materials differ and there are changes from one product to another and there's in between time we need to calculate because uh, when we try of course, to speak about the, the, the production line, we need time to clean the equipment and we need healthy pro health protocols to be complied with. So we must take decisions in real time by uh, accumulating all the data and by balancing out uh, the indicators that we have uh, for the health and for the cost, the environment, etc. Let's take a look at the smart tools that we currently use. I shall try to begin with those associated with the safety and health parameters of uh, this beverage. So we have CO2, we have oxygen, uh, syrup, sugars, all that is measured with great precision before pouring the product into the bottle. If we talk about pasteurized products like fruit juice, we need to record what is happening, the temperature in real time again. We have the flow of the product in the equipment and even the differential pressure because this will give us information as to some cross-contamination with the equipment. All these sensors, all these equipment, pieces of equipment have some further capabilities. They can send out alarm signals if there is a deviation, if we decide to ask them to do that. Today we can use our smartphone, like we saw from the previous colleague. You might be here in the auditorium, you might be watching a film at the cinema, and you realize that there's a sort of deviation. These sensors are also linked with other automation systems that can stop uh, the uh, line of production if there's a deviation again. So this is very important, you can understand, if we have five minutes of the non-compliance uh, non-compliance uh, production, we speak about more than 5,000 bottles uh, which are the end product and which could not be sold. So in just five minutes. More examples of smart processing in QFS regarding packaging or the bottles or the cotton boxes. Everything is checked to make sure that there are no defects, no flaws that could affect the uh, resilience or the resistance of the bottle or even the cap that we place on top. There is decontamination of uh, the containers before bottling. There are specific conditions that we use to decontaminate 
uh, the bottles. We need to check the chemicals, we need to check the temperature, we need to check even the pressure of the uh, spraying bags. Same smart testing for the end product. So there we have again real time for um, opening the bottle to make sure that we've closed all bottles properly. The labeling, same thing again, the net weight, everything, even the indication of the expiry date should be correct. And the batch should be correct. So we have all these smart systems, all these centers that will stop the production line if there's something that is going wrong. But this is not enough because by the time we stop the production line, the cost is very high. So what is even more important is to be able in real time to have uh, an analysis of the data. Data analysis, thousands of measurements taking place minute by minute. And we need that real time for all production lines, for all parameters, for even more parameters than the ones I mentioned earlier on. We have online statistical analysis, meaning that what is produced at this point as we speak, we know the PPK, the CDK, we know the DPMO. So thanks to that, we can take decisions and make sure that we take the proper decisions if there's deviation from the requirements that we have set. So we intervene before something uh, worse happens. Same rationale for the microbiological trend monitoring. Unfortunately, we don't have online microbiological uh, monitoring at this point. Hopefully, we'll get there at some point. But all the measurements that we get uh, are imported on the same platform that I described. And what we can get in real time is the analysis of the microbiological trends, whether we have the results pertaining to the end product or uh, the raw materials. So online, the reporting and possibility to connect product results with line and raw materials. And we can even evaluate actually our suppliers real time for the microbiological parameters. A few further examples of smart processing for the cleaning, for the decontamination, Again, real-time measurements, we check the temperature, we check the flow uh, in the pipelines, we check the time. But apart from these parameters which allow us to understand that the equipment has been cleaned based on the specifications required, we need to check other indicators like the consumption of energy or of water or of chemicals. And these indicators give us the information we need to intervene, to act promptly. So what I'm saying is if uh, there's, let's say, an upward trend in the energy uh, consumed for cleaning, then we can again act and say that this shows that probably there's some sort of uh, bug there. And proactively, we can uh, check the equipment without stopping the uh, production uh, and causing further problems. This is the last example of a sensor that we uh, placed a couple of years ago. It has to do with the uh, microbial, the biofilm um, microbial reactions. It's a very important sensor allowing us to clean the equipment in due time. And this is very important for a um, equipment that we cannot reach so easily. Think of a pipeline that might be a long, 10, 12 kilometers long, or it could be longer than that. So to clean these uh, pipes, you need to stop the production for approximately two days, and you need uh, special engineers to do that. So you need to uh, check the microbial load, you need to plan things ahead so as not to stop our production.
uh, maybe it's the alarm of the sensor. I don't know if I did anything wrong. Sensors, not just for the tools that we have. We place sensors in all the motors which allow our pilot to have uh, a clear idea of what is happening during the production. They can know whether there's any stoppage, whether there's a delay, how often these are repeated, what piece of equipment is responsible for that. And again, they can take decisions quickly. They can understand where they should place, where they, sh where they need to uh, pay attention when they need to replace the equipment or fix something or whether something needs maintenance, preventive maintenance. Same thing for the maintenance uh, systems, for troubleshooting as well, for spare parts that have been used in the past. So automatically the system can predict when you need the next maintenance. And it doesn't even stop there, it goes even further. It gives you a suggested list of spare parts that you should order. And if you allow it, it will even make the order itself. I have a short video for the end. This is uh, something that started with maintenance allowing the remote connection of um, any user with uh, a technical support center. It's a platform, it's a database. What can we do there? Again, in real time, we can fix, we can repair something that is going wrong with a piece of, com with a piece of equipment, or we can uh, get guidance step by step provided to people so that they can carry out a specific task. Can you play the video? Είναι στη βάση της διά εκεί δεξιά εκεί όχι πρέπει να το βάλουμε να παίξει. Να είναι το εικονίδιο κάτω δεξιά. Αυτό. Δύο φορές. Πώς να το βάλετε σε προβολή, σε, να μην είναι σε προβολή. Smart Glasses technology supports operators to solve everyday technical problems on a production line expert. by providing a fast and reliable connection to internal or external experts who can provide knowledge and solutions for troubleshooting. Experts can send them information on the Smart Glasses, highlight specific parts on the video, record the video for further checks, Hang up call. and guide the operator to a solution while reducing the line down time up to 50%.
Smart Glasses is a powerful tool for virtual training and developing multiple skills, showing the right sequence and attention points in performing tasks and providing 30% faster onboarding training. At the same time, it can guide operators through complex sequences on a production line, with a 20% time reduction and avoiding mistake. For Coca-Cola Hellenic Bottling Company, having virtual plant tools provides the chance to order the plant without having to travel on site. Equipment and processes can thus be reviewed remotely. Welcome in Edelstein, I'm the plant manager. Today um, we'll have a virtual plant tour. We will go to the production um, area and finishing in the warehouse. The management can gain an overview of the production lines even from a distance as QSE performance is measured through Exorcist. Finally, the virtual plant tour reduces travel and training time as well as the resulting costs while mitigating travel limitations. Using the UBMAX Vision Picking Solution XPIC, Coca-Cola HPC increased its operational efficiency while improving customer satisfaction. Camera. Through the solution, workers get the exact location of the pallets to pick from right in their field of view. Language flexibility is an important aspect. With XPIC, every picker can use the language they are most comfortable to work with. Across the entire Coca-Cola HPC company, Vision picking is already used for about 1,500 man-hours every day and rising. The remote support solution Exorcist does not only support ongoing operations, but it also enables the seamless commissioning of new production lines, as shown in this example from Moscow Plant. The live video support allows OEMs to oversee the procedure and helps preventing a halt. Each plant can act on its own, depending on the local availability of experts. The smart glasses technologies are now deployed in all 53 plants. We are very proud of this technology because the first country where it was implemented was Greece and from here it started spreading to all factories in all three continents. And of course it was very important to have this technology during the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you very much.